For over 500 years, Sok Nirimpoche's family has called Samagan home. It is a remote village in the high Himalayas at the foot of Manaslu, the eighth highest mountain in the world. My mother's side, they come from Tibet, so they left upper part of the Tibet, so slowly they settled here. Then later, 1959, just a little bit before the China communist some problem in Tibet, my father, Tugujun uh, left Tibet, and then before he left, I think something Jamsu told him, so you should go to Nubri, this area, to meet uh, Lama Tashi Torchi, which is my grandfather, my mother's father, They met here, and slowly, slowly, Tugujirunji comes stay almost six, seven months, maybe one year. And then I come into the being. Now I'm also Nubri, half Nubri, half Tibetan. The place is this Nubri. I have a very good memory. When I was young, about eight, nine years old, I come here because my house is very close. Sometimes we shout from top, and then we ask all the, our friends come. Then we gather here, we play, play. Then we eat a little bit. We go to the other side of the river and play with the mud, play with the water. This water, this big water there also. I think it's very healthy to play uh, childhood. I remember that. Come on. Yeah. Despite the stunning landscape, the villagers live in grinding poverty. Village women's lives entail back-breaking labor from sunup to sundown. Food and goods not grown or sourced locally can require weeks of transport. Family homes are often one room, lack indoor plumbing, and are black with soot from indoor cooking fires. Access to health care remains limited. Young women have few opportunities beyond marriage, childbearing, and working in the fields. Sokni Rinpoche offers young Nepali women a path to a better life through the school and nunnery he founded, Sokni Gechakling. Two of the nuns, Yeshe Palmo and Trinle Palmo, accompanied him during his visit. They visited their families for the first time in several years. When she was seven years old, she could become nun. Mm -hmm. And she'd been nun for eight years. And this is first time coming home. Wow.
Trinley Palmo and Yeshe Palmo are continuing their studies at Soknige Chakling with many other girls and young women from Samagon and Nubri. In 2020, Trinle Palmo was among the first group of nuns to graduate from Sokni Gechak Shedra, a nine-year university in Buddhist philosophy. It's an important milestone. The Sokni Gechak Ling campus continues to expand to meet its ever-growing student population. However, the student body continues to grow and is outpacing construction of the facilities. At Sokni Gejak School, all the young nuns receive an exceptional secular education as well as traditional monastic training. The education, healthcare, and opportunities afforded here address many of the persistent problems in high Himalayan villages. Please join us in supporting Sokni Rinpoche's vision to give young women the opportunity to train in this rich, transformative spiritual tradition.